Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at solving exponential equations using logarithms. So we have, for each exponential equation, solve for the variable and we want to round all of our answers to the nearest thousandth. And we have 3 to the x equals 45. We also have 2 to the y equals 25. Now one thing that will make logarithms easier is if you think in pairs. For instance, we want to pair logarithms with exponents. We think back to where else pairs show up in algebra where when we have, let's say, x plus 3 equals 5. We have a simple equation. But right now, what's attached to x? 3 is attached to x by addition. So we're going to do the inverse of addition to solve for x, and the inverse of addition is subtraction. So we would subtract 3 from both sides to find that x equals 2. So now, as it turns out, logarithms are the inverse operation of exponents. For instance, if we take something like 10 to the third, which equals 1,000, and we want to undo this operation of exponents to go back to, in this case, we would go back to 3 because the exponent is 3. That means we would take the result of 1,000 and we would send it into a logarithm. So now we take this 1,000, we send it into the logarithm, and the log of 1,000 is equal to 3. And now one last thing before we move on. See how there's no subscript written here? It's just a plain old log for this problem and for this property I have written here. If there's no number written there, it's always assumed to be base 10. For instance, think of there, there being like a little subscript of 10 right next to that log. But we don't write it because when we don't have a number there, it's implied to be 10 because that's how our number system is built. If it was a different base, they would say something like log base 5 and we would have something like 125 equals 3. And if it was a log base 5, all this means is 5 to the third equals 125. So if there's no number written next to the log, no subscript, automatically base 10. So now we use this concept of using the inverses to solve these two problems. So now the inverse operation of raising something to the x power, we're going to use logarithms to undo this exponent. So now we take the log of both sides and we have log of 3 to the x equals log of 45. But now we could use this property of logarithms. When we take the log of some term with an exponent, that exponent could pop outside of the log and be attached by multiplication. So notice how it's b to the c power, and in the next line it's c times log b. So what that allows us to do is this x that's in the exponent could pop outside of the logarithm in the next line, and we could attach it by multiplication. So for the next line we have x times log of 3 is equal to log of 45. So now to solve for x, all we need to do is divide both sides by log of 3. Remember, x is attached to log 3 by multiplication, and the inverse of multiplication is division. So this concept of inverses, doing the inverse operation, is huge in algebra. So that's how we want to think of logarithms, the inverse of exponents. So now log 3 divided by log 3 cancels, and now we have that x is equal to what is log 45 divided by log 3? Well, this you definitely need to punch in your calculator unless you have a table with a list of logarithms. And when we simplify this, we're going to get 3.46, and then we'll have like a 4, 9, 7, and we'll do a few more. 3, 5, 2, 1. And we need to round to the nearest thousandth. So we go out three digits after the decimal. That's the thousandths place. We look one digit to the right, it's a 9, so this tells us to round up to 3.465. So we have x equals 3.465. And this is going to be our final answer for the first problem. And you can punch this number in for x, and you should get something very close to 45. Because we rounded, we won't get exactly 45, but we'll get something really close to 45. If we were to plug this entire piece in, whatever popped up on our calculator after log 45 divided by log 3, if we plug that entire string 
into this problem for x, then we would get exactly 45, but we're rounding, so we're going to get something just close to 45. So now for the next problem, we're going to do something very similar. We're going to take the log of both sides, because remember, the variable is the exponent. And when we want to solve for a variable that is attached to an exponent term, we need to do the inverse of exponents, which is logarithms. So we take the log of both sides. So we have the log of 2 to the y is equal to the log of 25. So now we use this property, this exponent property of logarithms again. Remember, when we have an exponent in our middle term, our inner term, I should say, that exponent can pop out and attach itself by multiplication. So the exponent in this case is a y. So in the next line, we can say y times log of 2 is equal to log of 25. Once again, all we did was use this exponent property of logarithms to bring that exponent outside as it happens in this equation here. So now to solve for y, we have y times log 2 equals, so to get y by itself, we're going to do the inverse of multiplying by log 2, which is divide by log 2. But remember in algebra, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we're going to divide this side by log 2 as well. Now log 2 divided by log 2 will cancel, and we have y is equal to, and now log 25 divided by log 2, if you evaluate that in your calculator, you should get something like 4. Point, what was it, 6, 4, 3, 8, and then 5, 6, 1, 9. But remember, we want to round to the nearest thousandth. So we go three places after the decimal. We're going to go one, two, three. We look one digit to the right of the thousandths place, and it's an eight, which tells us to round up. So we have y equals 4.644. And this is going to be our final answer to the problem. 2 to the y equals 25. We have y equals 4.644 when we round to the nearest thousandth. And once again, you can plug this answer in for y. You'll get something really close to 25. If you want to get exactly 25, plug in the entire string that you got from doing log 25 divided by log 2, and you'll get 2 to that power equals exactly 25. Okay, well this is going to conclude this solving exponential equations using logarithms video. Wow, that was a long phrase. Okay, well, thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.